Hey, sorry to cut the music right before the uh, awesome Jimmy Page guitar solo, but uh, it's time to get to the main point of this video. Um, <laughs> Alright, uh, today I'll be talking about my favorite sniper rifle, the Remington Model 700P, the R700. Um, it's definitely one of the most well-balanced snipers in the game because of its amazing accuracy and firepower. Alright, let's go ahead and get the boring history stuff out of the way, shall we? The R700 was developed by Remington Arms in 1962 as a sharpshooting rifle used by police and SWAT units. It worked its way up to becoming a military firearm because of its ability to stop hostiles in their tracks. The military adaptation for the R700 is the M24 and the M40. That's right, the most popular sniper rifle in the game was based off of the R700. Even with the R700 becoming outdated by today's standards, many sharpshooting rifles have become based off of the R700. Remington Arms, in fact, claims that 90% of all sharpshooters' rifles in the police force are based off of the R700. Alright. Done. Alright, but, um, yeah, let's, let's talk about the, uh, the ammunition it uses here. Um, as we stated in our last episode, where we discussed the G3, um... The R700 uses uses a 7.62 by 51 millimeter bullet. Uh, the same round used by the G3. You know, I've already said that. The M40A3, M14, and M21 rifles. The R700 is one of the most deadly guns in the entire game. Although it does use the same ammunition as the M40A3, the R700 has an edge in damage. It delivers 70 damage with multipliers including 1.5 to the head and chest and 1.0 to the limbs. In short, any shot to the chest, neck, or head can bring down a target. In multiplayer, the R700 starts off with a total of 16 rounds without bandolier and 36 rounds with bandolier. Alright, it's time for my own rating of the gun. The R700 gets a 4 out of 5 for firepower, only because recently I've been finding it difficult to get one-shot kills even when shooting the upper chest of my opponent. Um, five out of po five points were achieved for accuracy because it is one of the most accurate guns in the game. You know, it, you can shoot a target from across the map and kill him. Uh, in range, five out of five points has to be earned for a sniper. You know, that is unless if you use the ACOG scope. Range is dramatically decreased while using the ACOG scope, as you probably do know already. Uh, three out of five points were achieved for fire rate because it is a bolt-action rifle. Plus, it takes uh, 1.1 seconds to reload the first round, and 0.4 seconds to reload every round after that. Um, as far as looks go, it is one of the best looking guns in the game. Um, unlike every gun with in the game, your camo extends to the uh, scope of the gun, unless if you're using the ACOG. So pretty much if you have digital camo, you'll see that digital camo on the scope. Um, so therefore, it gets 3 out of 3 points for appearance. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so overall, the R700 gets 20 out of 23 points. Uh, that means 87% of possible points were achieved, making it so far the leader of the best overall gun in the game, in this series. But um, all right, now, okay, let's talk about uh, maps here, pretty quick here. Um, pretty much, you want to use this gun on uh, sniping maps, you know, crossfire, ambush, overgrown, pipeline, are really good maps to use this gun on, because there are great places to hide in those maps, and a great opportunity to build a really high streak and get a really good score. Attachment and perks, really quick here, uh, don't use the ACOG scope because it is the biggest load of horse manure this side of North Carolina. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to chuckle there. Um, if you're going to use the ACOG sniper, um, use it on the M40, please. Um, you know, hold more bullets and you have a bigger chance of hitting a target like that. Uh, perks. Let's let's talk about the uh, claymores real quick. Um, claymores are not only to kill opponents, but uh, when they come across them, but it's a good signal to hightail it out of there. Bandolier is really good because uh, who doesn't like extra ammo, honestly. Uh, second perk, stopping power. Like I said before, any shot to the head, neck, or chest uh, kills an opponent, including jugger noobs. Yes, one shot will kill a jugger noob if placed correctly. Last perk, iron lungs. Hold your breath for a more steady shot longer. Outdoor snipers with a far superior breath holding ability. Sounds weird, but it works, believe me. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and tune in next time as we discuss the MP5 submachine gun. This is iGenius, and I will catch you guys later.